for the for the, for the Lord to tell um in these three verses in in um Ezra for the um for because that's how you know the Lord oh man wow just so much happening right now in my mind <laughs> it's um the Lord has told the king of Persia to let us go to build his house Israel just like we went into captivity. We, the Lord the Lord put us in captivity. He's going to take us out of captivity to serve him forever. We're going to be the ultimate judges. You know, I'm all over the place. It's so sloppy. But that's why I said, don't copy the behavior of the custom of this world. But let Yahweh transform you into a new person by the changing of your, the ways you think. So now we are being, that's what's happening to us. We are, we are changing, we're transforming. We don't think how we used to, you know, how long you've been in it? That's how long you change. You're a new, you're a new babe. You're, you don't do the custom of this world. The water y'all brush me on shot for that. Yep. The water y'all brush me on shot for that. And it's a spirit right now. It's a lot of thoughts I'm having. I'm thinking about, you know, other little things that I got to do in the world, right? Knowing I, I, I use the world, but I don't abuse the world. Like, you go out, you got to go to work, got to do it, so whatever. We're not, we're being, we're being transformed to what y'all watch me out shots with, but we still got to conduct ourselves at, in the manner of righteous people within a wicked era. You know? We don't run around with bad behaviors, and people recognize that, and they don't like it. Like I said, they don't like you know, how you conduct yourself because they, they don't have nothing on you, so they want to they'll do anything to try to destroy you. All right, but let but let y'all y'all shot change the way you think, then you then you will learn to know to know how y'all shot will for. For you, which is good and pleasing to and perfect and perfect. Y'all watch me on Shabbos is perfect. So, <sighs> or to, to obtain this perfectness, you're gonna have to do His will. So, um. See, look, I went up a verse. Dan used chapter, um, what was this again? Uh, what's up? Dan used chapter, Dan used chapter nine. Well, Dan used pray for the, his people. See, right? Dan used chapter nine, verse 11. All right. And that's what we're doing. We're praying for the people of Yahweh, Yahweh uh, the people that, that belong to Yahweh Shemuel Shah, which is Jerusalem, which is Jerusalem. Jerusalem. All right. Just want to read this again. I want to read this verse right here. And this is what happened. I just told you. Um, it's a learning experience, but all, the Lord made us go off, so we can experience wickedness. It's a learning thing. Like man, nah, you got you ain't gonna be just. Listen, you ain't gonna be just having all my stuff without you learning how to conduct my stuff. That's how Yahweh Al Shah's thinking. Alright? So we want this done we want it as it is in heaven, we want it on earth. So all that for all this experience huh, learning to experience heaven, the heavenly ways, how earth to, to experience it has to go through a transformation. That means it has to be broken down. Interesting. Broken down. That means it's going to be broken down to all types of worst things that could happen. And this is it's the worst era. All this be, it be, it be broken down, broken down from, you know, the um, um, Babylonians all the way down to the iron and clay to nothing. And boom, that big stone, which is Yahweh Shah. He's going to shoot laser beams and missiles and it's going to cleanse this place, man. It's going to be a cleansing. 
just is wickedness, man. All the things that the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahweh said He's going to do to us is done. We have accomplished the goals of Yahweh Shem Yahweh I brought this out one of these men. You know, just thinking about this. So much thoughts right now. But we have accomplished this, man. And he says in Daniel chapter 9, verse 11, All, all Israel has disobeyed your instructions. And turn away, refusing to listen to your voice. <laughs> yeah, this is the NLT translation, and they did. We did. We 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 um. It tells you about. Whew. We all went to captivity. We all went to captivity. So now. Solomon Salaki. Well, can't see that. Solomon. Solomon, yeah. So now Solomon cursed judgment written in the law of Moses that servant that that the servant of Yahweh El shall have been pure poured out on us because of our sin you have kept your word and done to us and our rulers exactly as you want never has there been this is the point this is another point right here too never has there been such a disaster as happened in jerusalem Ain't nothing like what's happening to what happened to us. Nobody went through it. What we went, no nation on the earth went through. Right there tells you that nobody else went through what we went through. So these people are insane when they talk about the Maka Cross. You know the Maka Cross, right? Over there, um, with um, what's that guy, Mitla? Right. And that ain't nothing. They ain't, it, this ain't generations of, of of destruction destroyed. You know the Lord running down on us for generations, man. We're using other nations. That's what it said. You it says um. It said you have kept your word and done to us as our rulers exactly as you warned. Then he warned us through the time of Moses. Never has there been such. Salak, this is Daniel. Salak, I, I don't know. I forgot what I, if I said something else. Salak, uh, a disaster has happened in Jerusalem. Every curse written against us in the law of Moses has come true. Every law, every law we broke, that's come true. The Lord did exactly. What he say he's going to do to us, man? What he say he's going to do to us, man? So, like, it's 3 a.m. in the morning. And this is the time when I'm up and I had a, I had a dream. But maybe it'll, it, um, it'll play itself out. But, but you know, I we as a people, we are tired of being in captivity of the other nations, man. So the Lord is about to get us up out of here, man. You know, and He did it before. He got us out of it. That's gonna lead. That's gonna be my end three verses. I'm gonna read in Ezra. But um, yeah, He's gonna get us up out of here. He's gonna. He did it before. I would. But this time, He's gonna do it in a dramatic fashion. He's gonna run down on Ashashua and take us from Him, which is gonna be beautiful, man. You're done, Ashashua. The Lord's going to rip us out of your hand and rip your arm off. <laughs> Every curse written against us in the law of Moses has come true. Yet we have refused to seek mercy. Yeah, you, you, 
We seeking mercy. The, the whole flock is seeking mercy. But two thirds is like, oh, I'm not I'm listening to nothing. For the Lord, our power, power. For the Lord, our power, shall our power by turning from our sins and recognizing his truth. We should, that's what we're supposed to be doing. This is the NLT translation. So I want to read this real fast. I was just um, slotted. Holy vessel restored. Wow. <laughs> you keep oh man, hold on, hold on for a second. It keep it keeps it keeps spiritually speaking. It keeps spiritually speaking. It keeps spiritually speaking. I'm gonna say that again. It keeps spiritually speaking. It's just it's just like it's it's so spiritual, man. Like I don't I'm I'm like I'm just amazed at what I just read right now. Right. Right. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm, let's see something. Let me see. Uh, I had to cover it. Let me see it again. Oh, uh, look what it says. I just, I just said, what's happening right now is the vessel of Yahweh Shemuel Shah is being restored. Restoration jumped in my head again. It's happening, man. It's really, really happening. We are being restored. A vessel. See, I just said that the Lord, we is He's in us. Yahweh Shemuel Shah is in us. This is mad spiritual right here, man. I'm probably all over the place. But it says, um, oh, man, jeez. One second, let me go back up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, all right, hold on. Let's read this. It says from Ezra chapter 1, verse 5, holy vessel restored. We are the holy vessel, man. Right? It says, then, then rose up the chief, the chief of the fathers of Judah and Benjamin and, and priests and, and the Levites with all them who spirit whose spirit Yahweh has risen to go up and build the house of Israel, Yahweh And that's what we are doing, which is in Jerusalem. In Jerusalem, we, I mean, we, the, the city, Jerusalem is in the city, but Jer Jerusalem, we are the city. We are the city, man. We are the ones, man. Right? And it's funny how we started right here. We we Yerushalm. I just went. I was just looking at the word Yerushalm. Let me see something real fast. It's the city cap. It's the it's the capital, which is the United Kingdom. United the kingdom is. You can't unite a kingdom without the people. The United Kingdom is the people. Okay. And we're being brought back together. One second. What was that? By the renewing of our mind, we're being transformed. Oh, I didn't even read that one. And um, like I said, the Lord, he, he broke us down to build us up. It's a lot going on right now in my mind, so it's a lot here. Um, he broke us down to build us up, man. He's like, it's like, this is the most, this is, you cannot, for you could act, you could play stupid. Right, you could play. Oh, scuba doing around this shit. Right, you could play stupid, but you could see the transformation. Ain't nobody checking for Sarnetta in them. Ain't nobody checking for Farrakhan in them. Everybody's checking for for Yasha Allah because it's a it's the best power. It's the best power to want to have. You know, it's the best power. So you're gonna walk on air. Um, so I don't talk about that. They talk about the, whatever the fuck, a guy with a, a half a tail on his head, side of his head. Um, Farrakhan don't talk about that. About perfect, perfect power. Pleasing. I just read that. What was that? Pleasing. Oh man, what was that? Yeah. See, it says, Yahweh Elisha will for, oh, let's read this whole verse. It's the, um, Romans chapter, chapter 12. 